Hello, so my candidate is Governor of North Dakota, Doug Burgum, and the ad I chose is called Secure, and it started running on June 11th of 2023, and it lasts one minute long. Uh, it was released on television and was part of a $3 million buy in Iowa and New Hampshire, which includes broadcast, uh, cable, and digital. Uh, his existing persona has been in it as an entrepreneur and business leader, and it also includes giving credit of his success to the values instilled by his small town community that he had growing up. Uh, a large part of this ad brings attention to Joe Biden's failed energy policies and that how they have empowered Russia and China to man damage the American economy. Uh, he is also fearing that in his presidency, as he will be leading as a businessman, he will not feel like Biden. Uh, there are various images in the, well, there's one image in the ad that displays Biden as blinking really slow, um, so as to uh, show his old age. And in another part of the ad, he even stated, Joe Biden shut down our oil and gas productions. Uh, basically, he keeps referring, um, how he will not be like Biden. Um, in ethos, Bergen refers to uh, Biden's past failed attempts of shutting down oil and gas production and credit to show how the country did not benefit from Biden's um, presidency. In pathos, which is Bergen's main appeal in the ad, is to appeal to emotion, portraying images such as horses, farms, and small towns to show America in a more localized view that a lot of Americans grow up or are around in today. Uh, with logos, uh, Bergam appeals to logic as he states himself as a new leader for a changing economy. He even said in North Dakota, we call that a no-brainer. Uh, doing so, he's once again appealing to how him coming from a small town personality makes him more relatable, like more Americans can relate to him. His general strategy with the ad is to generate a public uh, that has the same values and goals, which are the country's economy, energy, and national security. This becomes uh, very much well said throughout his campaign, and as such in the ad. Some images that are also showed in the ad are like an oil platform, which ties, ties into his true energy dependence argument. And another one is of a small town square and naval ships. The small town square is like, like I mentioned before, the more localized view and the naval ships relates to the um, national security part of his argument. Okay, so nonverbal contact of content of the ad. Uh, firstly, th and throughout the ad, he is shown sitting while giving his message and he's sitting in front of a barn in a farm like setting. And one of the frames, Brigham is riding a horse and holding the reins. And while another one, he's holding wire cutters. Those are some of the props. Uh, when giving the message, uh, he's dressed in Western-like wear and work-like wear. He's wearing a brown button-up with a darker brown zip-up halfway, which is a zip-up vest. And then in another frame, he has multiple outfit changes. In another frame, he is shown in a Carhartt jacket. And Carhartt is uh, known as to be a working gear clothing brand, which is known for its durability. And a lot of farm or people who work in farms wear this. And he's wearing this on top of a denim button. And then in another outfit, he's wearing a red flannel shirt, a hat, and brown leather chaps. And then in another frame, he's wearing a blue suit with a white show red tie American flag pin and glasses, so the more stereotypical governor-like wear. Yes. And then, and then uh, performers seen throughout the video are regular people. Uh, he's shaking their hand, such as when he's wearing the suit, he's probably giving a debate, he's shaking their hand. And every time he's speaking, the light is on him. Um, it's bright on his face to bring attention to him. And throughout the ad, uh, while he's he's the voice and the voiceover, and then the background images are shifting and they have white words such as economy, energy, 
And then, however, at the end where it says, a new leader for changing economy, Doug Burgum for America, which is a part where he says, my name is Doug Burgum and I approve this message. There's the only time in the ad where the colors of the letters are navy blue and red, which are known to be the patriotic colors of the United States. Mm, the editing on the video is very slow paced. It's shifting the frames and images. It's calming for the eyes. His voice is calm. And the music is best described as like hopeful, serene. There's no words in it. So the video has an overall calming nature to it. Effects on the candidate persona. So uh, he's always tried to instill his uh, persona as somebody who has small town values. And this ad just, he uses it to reinforce it. And as someone who has a focus on the economy, energy, and national security, as he has throughout his campaign. Um, by making pathos his main appeal, he continues, as I said, with the small town narrative, as he has since the beginning. And although he's a CEO turned governor, he wants to demonstrate that his small town background instilled his values, and as such, he will use them to lead the country um, with better economy, energy, and national security um, in a way that Biden never could. And then by displaying himself in ranch and agricultural clothing, he wants to continue to portray himself as someone who has worked in jobs where, as he has stated before, you shower at the end of the day and not at the beginning. So yes, this video is just wanting uh, to portray himself or seem trustworthy, somebody that the Americans could trust to lead the country as someone who is very much like them and comes from a small town.